Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Titli's Busy Kitchen with me, Titli Nihan. Are your Tex-Mex batteries running really low? Then maybe you should make some fajitas. Andalay, andalay, Ariba, Ariba. For my fajitas, I've got 350 grams of steak. I've cut it into strips, but I've also cut across the grain to help it be a bit more tender when it's cooked. Now, original fajitas was made with very poor quality meat. So the marinade I'm gonna make is really quite brutal. I've got the juice of two limes, two tablespoons of vinegar, and half a tablespoon of soy sauce, two teaspoons of chopped coriander, one teaspoon of garlic paste or one crushed garlic clove and in here I've got a teaspoon of brown sugar and half a teaspoon each of cumin powder and ground black pepper. Mix all the marinade ingredients in with the meat. Mix together really well then put this in the fridge to marinade for at least an hour but the longer the better. I need some other veggies for my fajita, so I've got a green and a red pepper, capsicum pepper, that I've hacked to pieces. I've also got a single onion, which I've cut in a slightly different way to normal. I've cut it that way and then cut it into segments, so I get these kind of cute chunky bits. My steak's been in the fridge for a couple of hours, so I'm ready to cook it. I've got two tablespoons of vegetable oil in this pan. It's on a medium heat, and I'm just going to drop in the steak. Now turn up the heat and fry quite vigorously. Once you've driven the liquid off, stir fry it for two to three minutes more. Once the meat starts to brown, remove it from the pan with a slotted spoon. Now add in the vegetables and stir fry on medium heat for three to four minutes just to wilt and soften these vegetables. The veggies have gone all lovely and soft so now I'm ready to make my fajitas. Now there are many ways to serve fajitas and I'm going to do mine kind of burrito or shawarma style so I've got a warmed tortilla here I'm going to slap on some guacamole and spread it round Put in some of the meat, the vegetables, and some grated cheese. Cheese is optional, of course. Then roll it up into a burrito or a shawarma shape. There we are, super. Serve with sour cream, chopped tomatoes or salsa, and a good blob of guacamole. When you eat fajitas, your batteries become recharged and you can talk like this. And learn later, riba riba. Join me next time in Tiffy's Busy Kitchen with me, Titlini Han. Till next time, good happy.